that's always the hard part about what we do. It always bothers Laurel and I about finding something to break somebody else's dream. But now the hardest part is coming. We have to call the customer. It's RV inspection day and today we are in Columbia, South Carolina about to inspect this 2016 Ace 30.2. Now we don't know what we're going to find and you don't know what we're going to find and our customers are hoping we find nothing. So stick around, we're going to update you at lunchtime. All right, first glimpse. We show up here, everything is in the shamble from the leveling system inside. The serial number is not the right one. Who made the error, I don't know, but now it was confirmed by the general manager that this is the unit our customer's buying. I already walked a little bit through because I needed to take a couple of pictures. Well, let's go on the other side, so I'll show you. So here it is on the street side. They're looking at the generator, I guess, somehow. Uh, listen, this is a 2015. So, so far what we've seen is, is kind of kosher, looks looks solid. Yes, it is dirty. It hasn't been maintained. You see the, the cover of the generator. The generator itself, it's full of dust. Brand new tires, so that's nice. I realize there's a problem with the leveling system. As I'm talking to you, I'm looking through stuff and I can see that there's heat going on in there, but I already checked this relief valve and there's, oh, now there is water, okay. But see, there's no more water. So there is something wrong with this. So from this end, I don't know if you can see this, but this is all delaminated. You can hear it. This is delaminated. This side is, is too. So if you want to show me the, I'll try to show with the, the angle. So you can see how it, it's bubbling here. Uh, same with this. Hopefully you can see this. Yeah, but that's what it is. That's the lamination right there. So if you're good with that, it's fine. Uh, so that's, that's the lamination in the back. Now what do you see? Okay, there's a little light bulb not there right up there in the corner. So not just the lens. It probably all works. I mean, come on. It's a 15. It's almost new. It's, it's weathered a little bit. But hey, if you're in for a project, this back end can be fixed and relaminated. But that's your call. So let's go see what Laurel has for us inside. So I was going to update you at lunchtime, but I'm going to start here with my first glimpse and I'm going to let you see the first glimpse too. First thing for me when I come in, I see that all the leather is peeling. Every bit of the furniture is peeling. But guys, remember, it's a 2016 manufacturer in 2015. Now come up here, you can see the the seat is quite destroyed. They've put covers on it and there's our leveling system. So we're not gonna be able to work with that today. And we already kind of knew that because we met the general manager when we got here and he let us know right up front that they needed to fix the leveling system. The other thing that I noticed right away, and it's only because the slides are in, but I wanted to look in the fridge and I see that the fridge does not stay latched and well, it's dirty, but you know what? So what, right? So we all can clean anything that's used. So even though I find that this latch doesn't work, the one thing I like to use is my nose and it doesn't smell like anything died in there. So that is a good thing. So stick around, we're gonna update you in a little bit. We showed you this a couple of minutes ago. So that's the interest right there. Is this of interest when it's like this? Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of go underneath here to show you. I don't know if you can. Let me show you this. So hold this two seconds. And again, I'm gonna show you how the floor is gone. Okay, so everywhere here, everywhere here, you can hear it. This. Let me grab my pencil. So this is gone that's what i look for but see even this corner this thing you can see that water has been coming in here for the longest time so let's go see what lowell has inside for reading see she's doing the pier she's pulling the pier floor thing missing. now floor missing <laughs> so now we're going to go in the front because i was going to use my tester and then laurel came out with me and we said all right let's go film this 
Well, she actually saw it even before I did. I just looked at the back. I haven't looked at the front yet because I saw, oh, there's a screw missing. But now you see, so that's mold, just telling you. This floor is totally gone. So see, I didn't do nothing. My wife did all the work. So I think we're good. I think if I go everywhere, I, I know it's gonna be like that all the way. People, that's my point. This thing is your floor. So if you don't put and maintain this, this is what's gonna happen to you. And when you try to shop and find a used one, these are the first place you look at. You didn't hear that from me. But now let's just go confirm with Laurel what we have inside. So Pierre said, get in that back bedroom and see what's going on. So follow me, let's go check and see what's going on in here. Well, first of all, I can see water down here. You see this right here? Oh, wow. No, my knee is sinking. That's soft. Wow. Holy, holy moly. You see, look at this. Can you see that moving? All right, I'm going to put my moisture meter there. Forty-six, fifty-three. I don't really need the moisture meter. Wow, 50. The floor is gone right there. This is completely, let's check the wall because you did, yeah, yeah 51. Oh, Lord, that's the land. Yeah, the whole thing. Well, except this spot here. That's not. Just kidding. Doing my yoga moves. 45. 48, 46. And remember guys, this is completely delaminated on the back. Okay, so I noticed up here in the cupboards that everything is, see, everything is coming off the wall in here. I'll go on the other side of this cupboard over here. Yep. So this is quite a project, guys. So now we need to call our customer and we're gonna Skype. We need to find out, is this a bust or a go? Is this a project that they're willing to take on? If you enjoy our videos, please hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, like it, share it with your friends, and if you don't know what to comment, just put C4BO, comment for Blue Ox. All right, so to recap this situation, it's already 10, 10, 13, I'm already bleeding. I'm bleeding for you people. Now we're gonna call our customer and be the bearer of bad news. For me, because we know the situation, we know what they wanna do with this. You're moving in this, couple of trial, couple of animals. Like I told all when we were outside. Uh, for me, it bothers them because you know, I think, Unless everybody's freaking blind in this dealership, whoever receives a take this and trade, why wasn't this checked? Maybe now it makes sense why the slide out was closed when we showed up, because that's obvious. See what Lowell found in the front? What we found in the back, inside, outside? I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. It's like, tell me nobody knew about this. People, you know what to check for now. We'll just give a call to the customer. We'll see where they stand. And if they want us to continue doing an inspection because out of frustration and they're pissed and they paid our services, which by the way, that was your days. So yeah, if you want to amuse yourself and just say, okay, well, no, I paid you. So give me a report. Okay. What's the point? But it's your call. So you do whatever you want and we'll give you a report worth of whatever we found, which is kind of simple. A couple of pictures and it's rotten. You want it? No, thank you. Bye. It's, it sucks, but. That's always the hard part about what we do. It always bothers Laurel and I about finding something to break somebody else's dream. But now the hardest part is coming. We have to call the customer. So hopefully they'll understand where we come from, showing our results and save them from a money pit. Ed and Michelle, that one's for you also. Been there, done that with a boat. You don't want to repeat that with an RV. That's the danger of RVs. Maintain your rig, people. We'll see you on the other side.
So unfortunately, we made the dreaded call. And it's not something that we enjoy doing because we feel like we just broke someone's dream. Or they would have broke their wallet fixing what's inside. You tell us in the comments below, what do you think? So this unit had a lot of issues, but a lot of obvious issues. So yes, it's already not even 11 o'clock in the morning and the customer told us we're done. We're calling them to have our down payments and we're going shopping. So that's what she just told us. We did a three-way call. The husband who works at another place was on the call too. So, so we walk you through what we find and then you become the judge. And we're not supposed to tell you what we think. We really didn't need to tell them what we thought. It hope, was kind of obvious. Hope you can read between the lines after seeing those couple of videos. So we walked them through with the tester, with the camera, FaceTiming. This is what it is. This is what it does. Then you're on your own. This one would have to have the slide out removed, change the whole floor. And once you're on the floor, since the floor is gone, did it go up the wall? I don't know. Then the back wall, where Laurel's knee almost went through the floor, how much of the floor can you change? You gotta rip off the wood and now you change a uh, two feet. Oh, there's black mold or whatever kind of mold. I don't know which mold, but it's mold in there. As you can see the front slide out. And that's that's crystallized mold between the lining and the plywood. So we can't make this shit up. But it's for you to rely on us. And to say, okay, if that's the call, that's what you find, where do I go from there? Well, then it becomes your project. Nope, I'm going to address this project. I'm going to rip it off. I'm going to change it. Fine. All right, so we'll try to find other things you want to. But like them, this is, they said, no. I asked a point blank question. Are you looking for a project? No. we got to go from here to here. And there's a purpose for their instance of having a camper. They need this, and they don't want to address the project. That's the call. We made it. We survived. Hopefully they're gone shopping for other units, which is a nice floor plan. I can't, I can't deny this. This is nice. But floor plan can be deceiving from the structure and how it was built or how it was maintained. So remember, and do never forget, it's not about the destination. It's, it's all, all about, about the, the journey. journey. But do we need to... F uh, you're filming my balls, by the way. You were totally down there. I didn't nope. even have my head. Yes, you are. <laughs>